Okay, so I am by no means a professional YouTuber, um, but I thought that I would make this video to help people with their DMing or just to dual display. Um, the first thing I want to preface this video with is if you have multiple of these display adapters, I'm not super tech savvy, but I think they're drivers. Um, for some reason, when you connect another monitor, it will connect your TV or your monitors to different drivers. And that's why a lot of people I've noticed have issues with the ability to duplicate. You see the difference? Like, people struggle to duplicate their screen rather than just extend it. And this, I figured out, is why. So you have to check <coughs> and see. I disabled my Intel so that nothing can use it. Um, so everything connects to my NVIDIA. That way, for sure, it will always um, duplicate my screen no matter what. Now, that being said, the next step is to open up a GIMP because this again is a guide on how to turn uh, a TV into a digital map so that's what we're going to do here <laughs> I'm so professional um, yeah sorry these are like my I have my settings up for uh, I had to make the screens that's another thing you have to make the screens the same um, dimensions the same pixels or else it won't uh, duplicate okay so what I have done here is <clears throat> what let me let me just uh, let me just pull up in something for you real quick um, you want to Let's say you want to bring a map in. I'm just going to pull in a random map that I have saved. Let's use the Amber Temple. Um, and that's open now. So then you want to create an extra layer. Right? A uh, new layer. Sorry, I'm like looking at the phones. <laughs> Um, I want it to be black, so we're going to go with the background color because I have this here. Um, it takes a lot to understand GIMP, so if you want to learn GIMP, go look up tutorials because there are plenty of them on the internet and I'm not a person. Ah, oh, dang it. I did it wrong. Okay, that's fine. We'll still we'll fix it. Boop. There we go. Okay. So now what you want to do is take the transparency down to 1. Now, I can see it clearly on my screen. It's not very perfect on your screen, but it's fine. Um, let's like bring it in. So, the cool thing is, I darkened the resolution on this screen. That way, um, you can see it on this one, but not on this one. So on my when my players are playing and I'm erasing parts of the map, they can't see it underneath the fog of war. Um, I did it very, very barely because I didn't want there to be too much of a contrast in color. Like, if you look here, um, it looks pretty much the same. Um, maybe a little more contrasty. Uh, and then the next thing I like to do here is... Um, while we're running a game, I hide the docs. So if you go into the windows and you hide the docs, it'll put all that stuff away, right? So so that way, it's all hidden. And then the next thing you do, now this is different for every TV, but most TVs have this ability, um, is I go in to the zoom mode here. Uh, oops, crap, I messed that up. Ha! Huh. I go into the zoom mode. Hold up. There we go. And then I put it on zoom. And then I set that. That way, now, all this, the bars, 
all that stuff is gone. It's just the map. And it takes a little bit of like figuring out the proper dimensions to really um, get it right. Like, hold on. So I like to kind of take a. So it's about right. I mean, obviously, this map is kind of garbage for this. I, I'm going to be building my own and making them better. Um, better. Uh, what's the word? I can't think of it. I'm sorry. My brain's not braining right now. But yeah, so there you go. That's that's pretty much how that works. And then I can, I can move through the map. And I know exactly what I want to erase um so yeah you just lay the table down and go to work boom 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 it's pretty convenient